All right, uh, I've got another config manager question here. Um, facing slow patch installation via config manager, how can I diagnose the cause? Is there a SQL query that could maybe show if the device communication is getting queued or something like that? Could be so many things though. It could depend on where that slowdown is happening. I mean, you, you should. Just doing uh, config like uh, device maintenance window, and uh, that device maintenance window hasn't happened yet, and therefore it doesn't get the patch installed when you think it will be installed. Say that you make a deadline available uh, for a patch, but there is a maintenance window to install it until it reaches that maintenance window. Over the years, I've also seen companies creating maintenance windows that are way too small, like super short maintenance windows. So config manager things like there's not time enough time to install the patch, so I'm simply not going to do it. Uh, but we had a. Did you make a note of that link, Andrew? We were doing a, a course earlier this afternoon, and one of the students shared a, a really good summary. It was a bit older, but it was a great summary of, of log resources for troubleshooting uh, of software updates. Uh, let me see. I definitely can get it. For a small fee? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Uh, you said the log reference, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. From the 2016 blog post. Yes. Oh, I know it's in here. Ah, I think I just found it. Yeah, if you'd like to uh, share my screen, I have that up right now. A moment. <clears throat> So basically, it's uh, it is showing up. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, basically, all the log files around software updates, um, basically, and whether or not they're client side. So we have a number, like I mentioned earlier, there are uh, the the slowdowns can happen in so many different places. Um, so you have some logs that will show up on the client side. You'll have others that are showing up on the server side. Um, and this will detail what each one of these logs uh, is going to do, basically. Uh, might give you an idea of where to start looking. Down here at the bottom, too, you'll also see some <clears throat> common issues, uh, how you might resolve them, and some FAQs as well. Uh, yeah, fantastic, uh, fantastic resource that was shared with us earlier. Yeah. So uh, other things that can happen is if you have uh, bits policies applied on your devices, uh, that can cause downloads to, to go quite slow, uh, even from a, a close by distribution point. Uh, having config manager configured to basically uh, don't download content that the client themselves are downloading, that could be an issue or take time. Um, using peering. It could be that there are no local peers with content and it tries to find them. If you're using Windows 11 or Windows 11 updates, those packages can be quite large. They can be 10 or 11 gigs in size. And we have seen, uh, not every time, but we've seen that content, that whole content coming down to clients. Um, and that, that, of course, takes some time to download. So it's a bit of an art uh, to figure out why why they are slow coming down, or slow being slow being installed. Indeed, and there was a follow up comment uh, here just now. Um, <clears throat> no maintenance windows. Devices are getting content from the DPS, and the devices are very close to the DP. Yeah. So, I mean, it could be also that the, the distribution point is is quite big. Mm -hmm. There are some, yeah, they still have that to be port. Let me, uh, um, 
there is in config usage report for distribution point. This deployment point usage summary, where you can specify a DP and a date range, and you can kind of see how busy it is during different days, um, and that might also indicate that that something is going on. So maybe that. All right. Great tips. Thank you, sir.